Okay. Hi, this is Bobby Cobb with the Adams Center, and I'm back with another speaker preview. We are kicking the year off with one of our favorites this year. Nancy Shipley Rubin is going to be coming to us, beaming in via Zoom from Hawaii. And she's going to be talking to us about some things that we can do to come into alignment with ourselves and really prepare ourselves to have a phenomenal 2021. So Nancy, welcome. I'm excited to have you back again. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be sharing with us on the 11th. Well, the energy that we're working with here is to come into a deep connection with your heart. And we're devoting all of 2021 to this heart connection. And so that if we look at a much larger, larger cycle that we've all been living through, we've been moving from the will center, this power of action, the sense of moving in our own personal identity, very individualized into a group, a unity connection. And our heart is the foundation of that unity. So if we can connect with our heart in a very real way, we will not lose our own sense of self. And that's so that in that, we bring more of our presence, more of our power, more of our alignment um, into our world and into our service. And so it's important. And I think that if we all start putting our attention to it, the idea of coming into the heart, which is not new for any of us, but it's bringing a very strong dimension. It's bringing the power of, the, of our will center into the heart so that the presence gets stronger. Yeah, it seems like this is very timely because uh, to me, it seems like one thing 2020 brought us was a this attachment to the narrative and so many people seem to have lost themselves. I, you know, I'm stunned on Facebook that if I write anything that is in any way contradicting the uh, medical wisdom of our uh, overlords, I call them, <laughs> that the, the vitriol that good friends of mine who I know like and love me, mm -hmm. I, I've had so many people that have just said, just shut up and wear the effing mask. <laughs> and it, it, it's like they want you to become this uh, drone or a sheep or something. And it, it sounds like what you're going to be talking to us about is the polar opposite of that, if I'm hearing you correctly. Well, if you look at what, you know, it's like every person is 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 got their own issues, right? And the main issue that we're seeing on the planet is everyone needs to feel safe. And so I listen to both sides of the argument, the maskers and the anti-maskers, and underneath both sides is fear. And so if you're fear driven, no matter what side of the fence you're going to play on, you're going to probably end up with a similar outcome. And so I think it's really important for us to start looking with our hearts, what exactly are we afraid of? And what is it that we can do to be able to bring that about? Fear lessens our immunity. We know that. Yeah. And so if, if I'm afraid that I'm going to get sick, I have to be a little bit more aware of what I'm doing in my body and how I'm running my chemistry. Am I open to my own wellness? And what does that look like? And um, and it's just one of those questions that everybody has their own very particular way that they sense is the right way to be to be safe. And um, when I'm listening, I, I hear the fear. Add to too. Yeah. And it's like, and so that the fear creates the animacy, it creates the, the need to be aggressive, the, the need to somehow make your point. And again, and I've heard it from both sides of, you know, whether we do or we don't. It's like, for me, I want people to feel comfortable. And it's like, if, if they're more comfortable with me wearing a mask for a little bit of time, I'm all right with that. I'm not going to walk around and, and be a nut all the time because I don't necessarily feel that my immunity is strengthened by wearing a mask. And so that there's a balance the way I think we all have to find it. And mutual respect is, as, as you can say, is really necessary. Yeah, absolutely. And would it be correct to say the, um, as, as we get more connected with our heart and come into alignment, one of the things that that allows is that we can 
flow more from a place of love as, as opposed to a place from fear. Exactly. That's the piece. We need the power that the fear gives us, but have it driven through love. And so that my heart has got its own intuitive center. If somebody asks me what should they do with their life, I'm going to ask them to ask their heart. I mean, this is the information center of the universe, right? So that your heart knows. And when we are in too much fear, we actually can cut off from that level of universal knowing. So the bringing the power of our solar plexus, our strength, our courage, our, our reactions into a bigger space of the heart will give us an intuition to know exactly how to move in our day. You know, so that it will give me a tremendous amount of information of what's right and where to be. And yeah. my sense is right now, that's what people are talking about. Where are we and where do we be? I want to be able to have a sense that my heart is open and connected when I'm in alone in my little room, as well as open and connected when I'm going to the beach. And so the, you know, this, the space of Hawaii keeps things more open. It's just the nature of not having much gravity, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like we, just, we just have more openness. But there's still this, this question of, the safety of the people and and how do we go about it yeah so, I, I love the the idea of getting more aligned with the with our inner guidance because I, I i think we have all the wisdom that we need you know er, everybody has experienced the aha moment where you've been struggling on a an issue for a while and you just set it aside for a little bit and go for a walk on the beach or a walk in the woods or pet the dog or the cat or whatever, and suddenly that flash of insight becomes downloaded to our center. And with that wisdom is delivered that felt sense mm -hmm. that this is the right thing to do. And to me, that's listening to our inner guru. And that felt sense gives you the power to act. Yeah. If you can't feel it, you're going to have it be as an interesting idea or my intuition told me or something like that. It'll live outside. But when that felt sense clicks into your nervous system, you just know what's right, you know, so that you'll know it's not the good day to go to the store or the perfect day to go to the store. It's yeah. like, and that's the part that I think that I hear a lot of confusion um, it's like I, I keep asking for common sense. That's my that's my alignment call for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's like let's just you know put it in our hearts and make sure that it all it, it pans itself out. We yeah. you know we're learning how to live with each other. <laughs> now, one of the things that I love about your work is you 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 have a beautiful philosophy and you deliver a lot of wisdom. But to me, it seems your work is more about taking this wisdom and really incorporating it into our lives and integrating it into our, our sense of self and knowing where to go. And I know you've got a workshop coming up toward the end of the month. Tell me a little bit about that, if you don't mind sharing. Called Power and Presence. And it's doing exactly what we're talking about here, being able to get a strong ability to stand within our power and stay conscious, which is not an easy thing to do. We can stand in our power and be in reaction. We can stand in our power and ground through other people. They made me feel this or they made me feel that. But to be able to stand in your power in a sense that you're congruent, you're grounded, and you know that you're, you're, you're here, you're conscious, and then to bring that into uh, presence of the heart, your field gets much larger. And so that when you put your mind to something, you want to find an answer or you want to hold a bigger space for your community, you've got a huge amount of resource available to you to be directed towards good. And that's presence. And so we, we're getting used to it. It's like what I love in, in, our, in our common society is we use a word a lot before we actually find out what it is. <laughs> it's like and so then we talk about it and we get all excited and we want to be more present. We want to more be present. And then there's a certain point when we go, I wonder exactly what that means in an alchemical basis. And so it means that we're grounded. It means that we are very clear around our subliminal power urges and that we have full access to that deeper space within our hearts it's literally a new dimension in my opinion mm. 
I love it. And uh, I, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but this is Adam's 2021 is Adam's 50th birthday. Uh, Mary Nelson originally incorporated Adam in 1971. And I can think of no better way to kick the year off than with uh, one of our favorites. God bless so, her. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So if you'd like to uh, experience Nancy virtually. Uh, she's going to be our speaker on Sunday, January the 11th. The gathering